I grew up in a loving Christian home as a kid, and my parents brought us to church every Sunday, and that was our tradition, and they were very involved there in our church. So when the doors were open, we were there. And so it was no surprise when I was eight that I gave my life to Jesus and started this Christian life. And it was, it worked out and I didn't know any different and went to church on Sundays and tried to to be good and and do the right thing and and read my Bible, though I didn't really enjoy it because it just seemed confusing and hard and tedious. And as a young adult, I had a friend ask me um, how my relationship Uh, was with God or how I was doing spiritually. No one had ever asked me that question. And so things began to to change because I hadn't really even considered that. I thought he was asking me how, whether I was reading my Bible or going to church, but he wasn't. He wanted to know how I was doing with God. And then as a young adult, um, I was introduced to the Holy Spirit. No one had really talked much about the Holy Spirit growing up other than the fact that he was part of the Trinity. Um, who was also God, but we didn't ever focus on that. And I was told that the Holy Spirit enables us to live the Christian life, to be like Jesus, which I had tried to be like Jesus, but it was burdensome. It was hard because I was doing it in my own strength. And I didn't really have that passion until I encountered the Holy Spirit. After I met the Holy Spirit, things changed. The Bible became more alive and I was enjoying reading the Bible daily. Um, and spending extended time reading the Bible. In, in worship services, I became more emotional. I was weeping and crying in a good way. It wasn't um, a bad thing. I wasn't depressed or anything, but it, I was encountering God in ways that I had never encountered before. Just thinking about my relationship with Him would make me cry. Even in my car, driving and listening to a song would bring me to tears which was something I had never before experienced. Several years ago, my dad had asked me how I viewed God the Father. We talked about um, just my past and how I always viewed him as more like this business guy in suit and tie, but would have never pictured myself rolling around on the floor wrestling with God the Father. He loved me and provided for me, but I saw him as it was very much this formal relationship. But things began to shift as I asked for more of God. I wanted to have a deeper level, deeper encounter with Him. Then I began to experience Him as this loving Father whom, um, whose lap I could get up in and, and He embraced me, loved me. And again, I became just more emotional, more moved and passionate about God and who He is to me. And so my encouragement to you, if you find yourself living this Christian life feeling like a duty instead of a delight, then ask for more of God. And He promised He will give Himself more of Himself to you and you will not be the same.